When you've got your wheelchair central to the anchor points in the floor, turn the wheelchair off and apply the front 5 series restraints. If you require the blue loop belt to attach the restraint, only one is required at the front of the chair. At the rear of the chair, you must apply two loop belts if you are unable to attach the double hook to the designated anchor point. If the hooks fit through the anchor point, the blue loop belts are not required. The V-belt we locked into place when the red line marries up. Attach the hooks to the anchor points at each side of the wheelchair, then tighten the ratchets. Your next step is to separately mount the lap belt. Once all your rear belts are applied, it should look like this. Try to prevent your lap belt going over any bars, ideally coming through the gap between the cushion and backrest. Make sure you're attaching this, not the passenger, and to position the buckle on their hip on the opposite side of the sash point. This belt gets attached to the wall with the same method as the V-belt and can be either located on the left or right hand side of the bus depending on your setup. You will put this belt over their shoulder and attach it to the lap belt. The static sash belt should be tight but allow about a hand width of room. Tighten the belt as needed and then you can see over everything prior to continuing your journey. For additional product knowledge, sales and service, contact the VAST team.